They're teenagers, and, and it's okay for you to have that question. It's okay for you to try to, to you know, look over and, and map out, and it's okay for you to mull over, why am I here? God, what is my pur- what is the purpose for my life? Now, God had a purpose for Joseph, right? I mean, he saved his family alive. He kept them food, he kept them fed, he kept, I mean, he kept the whole nation afloat. He did it right. But it didn't look like in the beginning he was going to end up where he ended up. And there was certain adversity along the way. There were certain things that happened that did not parallel a life that had purpose and God's hand over it. bigger than God in your life, then he's not magnified. But if he is the biggest thing in your life, then the details really don't matter because details are about you. If your God's big enough to take details that don't match up and make something beautiful out of it, then God is magnified. If we take details that function in our favor and we do something with our life, we can step back and say, look what I've done. Made the most of it, guys. Look at what I've done with my life. Look, I, I had a good head on my shoulders. I started up, went to school, finished school, got a job, kept a job, family, raised a family, did all that. Now, what does that do for God? Nothing. But you take somebody like Joseph that has a life that wasn't exactly, I mean, it wasn't uh, kind of, the, you know, precise family. They wouldn't have been the front page of the precise family magazine. But yet God was greatly magnified and glorified. You may be going through a stage right now that you find you find yourself asking, God, what is my purpose? And I want to say to you, hold on, hang on, don't throw in the towel, don't give up, because God does have a purpose for you. And the more the more uh, messed up the details are, the more glory God's going to get one day when He puts them all together. Because not everybody comes from and nobody comes from a cookie. Oh, we all look at everybody, boy, if I could just be like that. Well, if I could have been born there, I'd tell you right now. If I, I mean, four wheelers, I always thought as a boy I would have it made if I got to ride a four wheeler. I thought, man, I'd go down there to them iPhones down on Fallsby Road. They had four wheelers everywhere. Go-kart, every kind of motorized thing you could imagine, Brother Jeff, amen. They had tractors, four-wheelers, and I thought, man, I can't even ride my bicycle at the apartments without getting in trouble. And here they got four-wheelers, go-karts, and four-wheelers. And every boy wants one of them. Luke's been trying to raise money for a golf cart, amen. <laughs> Every boy wants a, a motorized vehicle, and I thought, you know what? If I if I could just if I could just get one of them four wheelers, do you know what they do? They tear up. Tractors tear up too, and they're very expensive to fix, by the way. Things tear up. You know, have you ever have you ever looked at a house before? I did this. There's, there's one on Hickory Tree Road, I believe it was, or Gum Tree Road, one of those roads. And, uh, Mom, you know what I was talking about. They had, they had tennis court in the back of the... This is when you didn't have tennis courts at your house. I mean, anybody that did that was like a movie stalker. You didn't put tennis courts at your house. Not in Davidson County. Now, you, just, you don't do that. You don't belong in Davidson County if you got a tennis court in the back of your home. I mean, two, three-story mansion-looking house tennis court in the back, and I'd go by that thing every day, and I thought, wow. I mean, it's not so hard for me, but the department we live in, I mean, you could look through and see everything. You heard of the shotgun houses, Brother Roy? I mean, you look through, and, and that, I mean, living room, dining room, bedroom, bathroom, all together, I mean, right there. You can see it all together, just look, and you see everything you want to see. My daddy didn't have to search for me. He could look. He could make one look and see all, all rooms. And I'd look and I thought, 
But you know what? When I come back from college, I'm going to. When I come back from college, I'm following. Joseph, the 